general about something. <laughs> Looking for compensation for the injuries I gave you? I accept full responsibility. They can deduct my next hundred years salary if they like. Uh, how hard is it to choose a destination? We're going to Stargazer Navalia. Problem solved. <laughs> the young are the antidote. Stargazer Navalia, it is. Let the noble High Elder drown the enemies in rain. We just need a watch from the sky, I presume? Uh, I remember now. I've seen Bai Hung's name in books before. You like to read? I couldn't tell. Hey, I don't read much, but the General forced me to finish a bunch of ancient volumes during my training. I... Bai Hung, I've brought your flagon. This was a gift handmade by him, though he never got the chance to give it to you in person. I'm sorry it took so long for me to find it. Only by bringing it to you will my nightmares be calmed. I will fulfill what you asked of me. I will keep my word, even if it requires me to cut down the stars in the sky. Come on already. <laughs> what took you so long this time? Hmm. This spear is sharp enough to pierce dragon scales. Be careful, High Elder, lest you hurt yourself with it. <sighs> Ying Xing. <laughs> you still remember his name, old. <laughs> The little brat was no less arrogant than the High Elder, at f You didn't go easy just so I would get here first, did you? Of course not. Your technique must have improved so much that I simply couldn't keep up with you. I let him die a hundred deaths to remind him of the karma of his previous life. A solution. <sighs> I'm listening. I apologize, General. I'm afraid the next move will have to be made on the Shu Ling. Move. You've changed, Jing Yuan. The man I knew would never have admitted he was bested. Tishin. Oh, I see. Are you here for your eyes? Or is it something else? My eyes are fine. Her pulse is extremely faint. Normally, this would mean that she... There's... no cure. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let the healer make the professional diagnosis. It's around... Hey! Get me back my medicine box! <gasps> that thing runs so fast! For some reason, she arrived on the Lafu with a suspect disguised as a traveling merchant and said she wanted to turn herself in. Yes, doctors. You're Mara struck? I don't see the symptoms in you at all. Take this man away. This does not involve him. Yen Ching. And so, everyone is present. I never thought the High Cloud Quintet would be able to gather again in the same place after hundreds of years. It's empty while the world continues to turn. Some of us have been reborn, while others were denied death. Some have become criminals, while others 
can no longer fulfill their promises. And in the end, our friendship is no more. At present, you have the opportunity to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Scale Gorge Waterscape. It will be the last view of the Law Fu you ever lay eyes on. Of five people, three must pay a price. In Bibiter Lune, the chief culprit chose to use the transmutation arcanum as a means of resurrection, begetting terrible transformation and great calamity in the process. He dishonored the name of the fallen, Ying Sing, the accomplice, arrogant and oblivious, used the flesh of the Abundance Emanator to assist in Bibiter Lune in his evil. He fell, becoming an immortal abomination. As for Jing Liu, the sinner, she succumbed to Mara, slaughtered her people, and abandoned her oath. Now it is time we pay for what we have done. Bird, you wish to discuss the one person you've avoided mentioning up to now. Your master, Jing Liu. Have you mistaken yourself for a tourist? <laughs> I would make a wonderful tourist. Lower your guard, young man. Being away. High Cloud Quintet. It is time to say goodbye. Wait. Jing Liu, before you leave, you still owe me my due. I have tried. Besides inflicting more wounds on your body, there is nothing else I can do for you. The immortality that you possess is not something that can be dealt with so easily. I am sure Destiny's Slave already told you that the swords of mortals are incapable of killing someone with the flesh of an emanator. He did. But you still owe me the attempt. You will only draw against an opponent. Jing Liu, allow me to repay you for your teachings. Savor the moment. I will deliver you a brief moment of death. We were here once, 700 years ago. <laughs> Laughing, sparring, and thinking about the future. <laughs> Their faces still linger before my eyes, like a bygone dream. would flow indefinitely before us, like a Sienjo lifetime. Yet, dreams will eventually fade like clouds from the sky. The swordplay used to slay our enemies of old is still engraved on this despicable shell. All I can do is watch my flesh become severed, healed, and restored. It's as if they're saying, Why? Why did you and Imbibiter Lune commit such an unforgivable sin? I know that you have no interest in my answer. 
Which is why I asked the question as you looked me straight in the eye. I've asked myself that same question infinite times, but was never able to find the answer. Why? Why is it that only the abominations can return time and time again? Why does someone like her have to be buried, burned to ash, and eventually forgotten? Why? In the end, you unleashed the final piercing blow and left both me and the sword in the withered grave. The miraculous thing is that in my brief moment of death, all the pain went away, like when we drank to drown our sorrows. She couldn't do it with her sword either. She still couldn't do it. We have no choice but to continue the pursuit. This is the price the two of us must pay. I will see it through. Elio's script still requires you to stay alive. For now. I don't mind prolonging my vengeance. It might be more interesting that way.